Okay, hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Learn the Cue Ball. This is episode number six. Today we're going to talk about a shot called Check Side, and I'll show you the different scenarios that pop up where you can use Check Side and gain an advantage from it. Okay, so in the last episode we talked about running side. So if you haven't watched the last episode, make sure you go and watch it. Because in this episode, I'm going to talk about running side still, so you can understand check side a lot better. So make sure you go back and watch it, and you can come back and re-watch this again. Okay, now we want to pop this and get onto the black. Now, if you play this playing ball topspin, it'll hit the cushion, hit here, and bounce back out. So I'm just going to show you topspin, playing ball first. As you can see, land too far away from the black, the angle's coming up the table. Okay, now we put the same shot up again. This time we're going to play it with check side. Now check side here is top spin right hand side off this shot. And the difference between plain ball and check side, as you notice when we played plain ball, hit the cushion and came up on this angle, hit this cushion and bounced out. Now, when you play with check side, top spin right hand side, which now is check side, when you pop the ball and it hits a cushion, instead of it coming up this way, it will now bounce back the opposite way and then bounce back out. Okay, so it goes in the opposite direction. That's why it's called check side, because it's checking back the opposite way. Okay, so top spin right hand side. And you come back out nicely on the black. A lot closer than being up here okay so that's the benefits you can get from check side now I'm just going to show you another shot you up high like this now if I play this playing ball top spin off this angle it's going to hit the cushion and go straight into the black okay now if you haven't watched the last episode as I said make sure you watch it because now I'm going to talk about a shot that I played in the last episode, running side when we had a ball there, cue ball over there, put it around the angles, running side to get on the black into the corner. Okay, same thing here. If you pop this shot with running side, yes, you can pot it, come over here, land on the black into that pocket. Okay, that's running side. All right, now if you want to hold onto this side of the table, you've got to play it with check side. Okay, so got to hit it on the opposite side. So what will happen when we hit it here, we'll hit here and straighten up, come back this way. Okay, so just remember, if you play this plain ball, it's going to go straight into the black. Play it running side, around this way. Now if you've got balls in the way here, the black's not on, and you need to get on the black back into there. From there you play the check side and come back to the black into the corner pocket. Okay, so hit the white low. A little bit of right hand side. And you're a lot closer to the black. Okay, so these are the benefits of using check side. And it's going to put up one more example. Okay, here's another good example where you can use check side and gain advantage from it. Red's a block on the black, so you can't pop the black in the corner pocket. These reds are in the way, they're coming around the table to get back on the black. So you want to avoid those situations because if you play that playing ball, you change your cannons in the reds, play it running side, you still got to kick a goal, go through the reds. Okay, so you want to eliminate that possibility of cannon in, into one of these reds. So now you play the shot with check side, top spin, left hand side, and the cue ball hits there, it'll hit here and straighten up. You come back down on this side of the table, the black in the corner. So, top spin with left hand side. Okay, as you can see, come down that side of the table, and now I've got a nice shot at the black. Okay, so these are the handy situations you can use check side. Okay, now I've got one more that I'll show you. Comes very handy.
you've got this situation again you're on the red you want to hold for the black now if you play this just a soft screw shot <coughs> cue ball is going to be coming still too far away from the black Okay, play out the screw with left hand side. You really got to hit really good to come back out like that. Okay, you want to play the shot with a little bit of confidence. Okay, you play with check side, screw with check side. So you aim low on the white with right hand side. And you can hit it at a nice pace where when you pot it, it'll screw to here and then just straighten up and hold. It'll slow the white down, the spin. So these cushions, it'll die and just come just nice and you'll hold for the, for the black. Because if you play this plain ball and you roll it in, cue ball is going to land right up here. Okay, so you don't want to land too far away, possibly up here, off that shot. Want to land close to the black. Okay, so screw with right inside. And you can hold for the black nice and easy just using check side. Okay, so these are handy shots. Comes very handy again, like this shot too. Same thing. Now, just going to show you this type of shot. All right, if I pop that plain ball and try and roll it in as soft as I can, cue ball is going to come back over here. Okay, there's no way I can hold the white on this side of the table by rolling this type of shot in. Okay, but if I place screw with right hand side, which is check side, as soon as it Hits the cushion, it'll die and I'll hold for the black into this side. Okay, so these are very handy shots to know. The screw of right hand side, just nice little shot, don't hit it that hard. And you hold the white easy, okay? So these are the shots where you can benefit from by using check side. Um, I hope you gain good knowledge and from this video, please like and share it with your friends so they can learn too. That's the reason I do these videos, so people can enjoy them and learn some more. Okay, so I'll see you in the next episode, and thanks for now. Yeah.